Okay, so this is my new <clears throat> Nerf gun design. So all the basic components are sitting there. The video a while ago was about making rifling the barrel. one of those blanks right here so I used one of these blanks from the rifling machine and I encased it in a piece of aluminum aluminum tube I was done with some uh, epoxy glue and after that it was all done and cured I threw it on my bridge board and uh, put a little octagon on it I left a couple of uh, diameters over here so I can clamp on the sides. Sides are made of brass. They just clamp on there. Everything is big and exaggerated, so it looks cool. I think it does. <coughs> This is one of the barrels you can see. And after experimenting, I had to put these uh, stabilizers on. <clears throat> so what happens is uh, the Nerf dart is so light that when it leaves the barrel, the air behind it disturbs the back of it so it uh, doesn't fly straight. So with these over here, the pressure <clears throat> is being released before the dart actually leaves the barrel so uh, it flies nice and straight <clears throat> actually that's just like a paintball gun they have the same kind of stabilizing hole here <clears throat> so that's the barrel this is the receiver I made it so it looks sort of like a falling black design <clears throat> so we have the valve over here one of those quick release valves <clears throat> we have a um, pressure relief valve that's set at uh, 40 psi we have two staging tanks over here and the regulator so there's going to be a couple of these tanks behind in the uh, in the stack. Those are going to be high pressure tanks. This is going to be low pressure tanks. So every time you squeeze the trigger, these get emptied and slowly getting refilled. From this one, there's a restrictor in here that I put in with a filter. Plus, uh, <clears throat> so here's the way it works. We've got a little black. So this way right here. This is an input hole from the uh, valve. This is the uh, output into the barrel. So you see it matches up with the input from the from the valve. And here is the barrel. So when this is over here and it's down, you can load and you close it up, and the air from from the valve will go into the barrel. this so then this goes over here I made it pretty close so it doesn't need uh, any o-rings and a little bit of loss little loss of pressure is no big deal it's a freaking toy <coughs> so I'll put it together so we can see how it works I chose castle nuts for a effect. <clears throat> and uh, 
pivot pin. Those are regular socket head cap screws that I cut down the heads to make them look different. <clears throat> so there is the pivot pin. There you go. And then <clears throat> the barrel is held on with this little doodad. So this goes in here. And this hole right there. So when you when you tighten it, it pinches the barrel and it pushes it against the wall and top wall and uh, keeps the barrel actually in the same spot every time. <coughs> so put the barrel back in place. It's really close. I machine everything too close all the time. Okay, it needs to be really well lined up, otherwise it will not go in. There we go. Yep. It's all made of aluminum and I did not anodize anything, so you have to be really gentle not to scratch anything up. So there we go. So these are only for looks, so you can see. I actually um, um, etched it, acid etched it. And then <clears throat> Here we have kind of a KW Kubo's workshop and JVG six twenty five. That's how it's going to work. So, um, actually, we could. No, we couldn't. Yep, so those are the basic parts. And then the, um, here's the <coughs> stock. It's being. It's getting glued up. And then these. I have a bunch of those. So, we can. That's a quick release. We can switch them really quick. about it. Just that simple. Alright, um, that's it for this one. <laughs>